What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. Today, we're back at Dealer Auto Auction for another walk around. We're gonna see what we can find. So let's jump into this today with the first one, a tow truck. That's right, guys. We're gonna start with the 2019 Ram 4500 heavy duty tow truck. It's got the single cab. It's got the short bed with all of your tow accessories. It's got your dollies too. They look to be in pretty good shape. Tires look to be decent. Bearings feel good. This is a nice rig right here, guys. And I like the color too. Low miles, like 65,000 miles on the odometer. Everything's got a nice storage place. Good bearings on this side as well, very nice. Looks like we got relatively good tires. Good tires on the front as well. No major body damage to speak of. Very nice, let's check out the interior. Surprisingly, it smells good in here. Wow, nice tinted windows. This is, this is actually pretty nice, guys. What I'd like to know though is what is this? If anybody knows what this thing is, tow mate, tow mater, don't know. You got a cigarette burn on the seat right here, but no big deal. I guess this is for you to repo cars, right? You, you can sit right here and just handle the whole business from right here. That's pretty cool. This is in really good shape. Hell, I think this is quieter than my Cummins. It's probably the same damn engine. Wow. This thing runs great. 65,000 miles on the odometer. What is that little light right there for? Is that for regen or diesel exhaust fluid? No, DEF is right there just like it is on mine. Huh. It's out of fuel, that's for sure. Let's pop the hood. Let's turn out the air conditioner. Very important we have working AC. Come on. The AC and the heat in these things, man, it's... Hell, this is actually better than mine. The last two Rams I've had, they've been weak, man. They've been really weak coming out of the vents there. Not bad at all. And we've got cold AC. It takes a little while. Steering feels good. Reverse. Drive goes right into gear. We're not gonna test drive this one. Let's check and make sure the uh, important window works. And it does. Window over there. Yeah. Very nice. Do I need a tow truck? Probably not. You got a power outlet over there. You've got some USB ports and an aux port right there as well. I mean, it's a base model, but it's got plenty of options, guys. I've got bad allergies today, so forgive me. I wonder why they're selling it. Yeah, six, seven. Same engine, just a bigger chassis, bigger frame. Boy, she purrs like a kit too, doesn't she? I don't need this. And this is probably way outside of my budget anyway. Looks like this might have been a trade in. It's got Automax Hyundai floor mats in it. That's weird. You got the work floor mat. I like that too. Please forgive me guys, I got horrible allergies. Like it's it's real bad. My allergies are super bad today. I almost didn't even come out here because it's just the sneezing is, is off the charts today. I've already taken allergy meds and ain't doing any good. Everything you need right here for repos, recoveries, whatever. This thing is awesome, I love it. All right, one down. Let's see what else they got. Now I've had several people comment and say that they missed the Copart and IAA walk-arounds and that these cars are boring. 
I don't know, man. If y'all feel that way, definitely leave a comment down below and tell me that you don't like these walkarounds and that you would prefer Copart and IA. Personally, I prefer these because I've got my whole selection right here in front of me. I know what all is going up for auction. I get to test drive the ones that I'm really interested in bidding on. And they got a cafe. <laughs> They've got air conditioning inside. Um, and the best part is every time I've purchased a car from them, I've, uh, I've gotten a title. So <laughs> that helps. Here we got a 2021 Ram 1500 with a 5.7 Hemi, 97,000 miles on the odometer. It's got the Ram box. It's a Rebel. It's got nice meaty tires. I like this Ram box. I really do like the Ram box. I kind of... Oh, you got your uh, inverter right here too. I like that. I think this is kind of what I'm looking for, but I want one with the Eco Diesel. You got the soft open gate. You got the Linux liner. You got your bed organizer. You got your uh, movable uh, D-rings right there. You just push this and it opens, I guess. Yeah. Somebody's got a hard hat in here. Somebody use this for work. Let's take a look at the interior. I do like this truck. A little high on the mileage. It's already out of warranty, of course. I think these things only come with a 60, five years, 60,000 mile warranty. You got the rubberized liners for the floor. I like that. Leather seats, very nice. You got your little stowage compartments in the floor. I love that as well. Even though I'm having trouble smelling, this one definitely, I can already tell, this does not smell the best. Does not smell the best, but that can be that can be remedied. You got the Rebel embroidering in the seats. Very nice. I wish it was an Eco Diesel though. I say that all the time, but that's what I'm really looking for is an Eco Diesel. It's fired up. That did not want to start. That's a little concerning. Oh, she's got all kinds of warning lights. Electronic, service, stability control, crash avoidance, traction control, check engine light. Oh, wow. This thing is, uh, it's not in the best shape, is it? Love that screen, though. It's hard to hate on that screen. That is a beautiful screen. You got your, uh, shifter right here which i just think is weird kind of bizarre but it's one of those things you just gotta you gotta get used to i guess fully loaded man this thing's got everything let's turn on climate control let's turn it on uh let's turn the radio off auto we'll kick her down to 70 just see if that air conditioner kicks in and uh, i'm gonna shut it off here in just a second once that battery has a moment to kind of charge back up and we're gonna find out if she has a hard time starting again or if maybe it was just from a low battery. Well, I tell you what, if that's the air conditioning, we're in trouble. That is hot. I mean, that is, that is really hot. Turn on max AC. Uh, I hear the cooling fan going, going on, but that is that is really hot. Steering feels good. Reverse. Drive. Yeah. Back to park. Important window works. The less important window works. Hey, we got some AC coming on. There we go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, AC definitely works. Very, very nice. Let's pop the hood, just take a look. See what she looks like under the hood here. These are not bad trucks. Looks like everything under there is pretty easy to get to. Not too bad. Except for a couple of those coils. That, that could be fun since they're uh, right there in the brake booster. Yeah, that's not a bad truck. I'd love to know what that check engine light is on for though. 
And I've had a lot of people tell me I should bring a code reader out here. You, you can't do that, guys. At least to my knowledge, anyway. You're not allowed to bring code readers and scan tools and stuff with you. Um, I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's, uh, that's how it goes just about everywhere. Let's turn that AC off. Now let's shut this thing down. And let's see if it wants to start this time. There we go. Okay, it, the battery was just going dead. That's all it was. Oil change, 52723, 96105. It's got 97872, so uh, that could be when it was changed. Or it could be when it's due again. I'm going to say probably when it's due again. We'll turn that climate control back on. Does this thing have cooled seats? I don't see any buttons for cooled seats. That would be awesome. Oh, right here. Yes, it does. Come on. Give me cooled. No, it doesn't. Damn. <laughs> uh, it's got heated seats. It does not have cooled seats. That's too bad. All right. Well, I think that's going to be about a wrap for this one, guys. I like the truck. I'm not going to drive it, though, because this is not exactly what I'm looking for, but still a nice truck nonetheless next and i'm not going to spend a lot of time on this one because it's not very interesting but a 2011 dodge caliber you just don't see these anymore this one's got 121,000 miles on the odometer the tires look decent body looks decent honestly this this isn't this isn't bad oh it's got a lot of dog hair needs a good cleaning let's pop the hatch here got rubberized floor mats with well, some of the people out here they drive these cars bad and it's the customers you know what i mean it's uh it's other dealers and stuff coming out here and they like terrorize the lots in some of these cars anyway let's see if she wants to run i don't have a jump pack so she's dead she's dead oh well, like I said, I wasn't going to spend a lot of time on this one anyway. I was just kind of interested in it because well, you just don't you just don't see many of these anymore. I mean, they weren't the greatest cars to begin with, but some about them I always liked. And I can't really tell you what it is. I just thought they were interesting looking cars. <sighs> Boy, it's clean under here. Wow, very very clean. This could have been a fleet vehicle. There's your battery cover. Computer sitting on top of the air filter, probably to help keep it cool. Lots of room to work. Oh, that's too bad, man. I did want to fire this one up for the right price, you know, like 800 bucks. Hell, I'd jump on it. Moving on. Here's another interesting little car, a 2013 Toyota Yaris. I, not that I would want to daily drive it, all right? But I think it's a cute little car. And don't these things get like, some like, 40 miles a gallon or something these things are little fuel sippers man this one's got good tires body looks good the majority of the paint looks good there's a few imperfections here and there the headlights need cleaned front bumpers a little off here and there some trim missing over here windshield is crap okay so the more i look at it the worse it gets not so shabby the ooh boy well that interior is a little on the rough side, isn't it? That's a little rough, guys. That's a little rough. I mean, it can still make somebody... Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. I'm sure it's dead to you. Yeah, it's dead as a door now, of course. Well, I'm actually out here shopping. I didn't say this earlier, but I'm looking for a, a beater car for my daughter. And uh, I almost hate to say that it's a beater car, but that's what I'm trying to find. She's 18. She's learning how to drive. And uh, she needs something that she can bump into things with. You know what I mean? <laughs> and, and, and hopefully uh, hopefully that doesn't happen. But if she were to bump into a curb or a mailbox or something like that, you know, something that's like, well, that's no big deal because the car is already a little rough. I don't want something that's junk. But I also don't want something that's really nice because it's probably going to get banged up as she learns to drive. This one is not it. This would definitely fit the bill. These are not expensive. It's a 2014, what is it, a Fiesta Ford 
I think it's a Focus or if it's a Focus. It's got 140,000 miles. So it's going to be cheap. It's got brand new Primewell tires all the way around. It does have a little higher mileage, but some bumps and bruises around it. But unfortunately, like, even though this would really fit the bill here, I almost hate, I hate to have something this nice. This is clean. This is, oh, tell me, are all of these dead? Come on now. Oh, wow, water came out of the door there. This one, this one's all right. The interior is decent. This is a nice little car. Well, it does need a cleaning. There's like spots all over the seat, some cigarette burns, a rip in the seat there. So this one, you know, it's a little rough. It's dead too. What is the deal, man? This is crazy. Usually, 90% of the cars I look at out here, you know, you don't even need a booster pack for, so I haven't even brought one. But everything in this little row right here has been dead as a door now, so I guess we're gonna have to skip most of these. And uh, we'll move on to something else. This one wasn't too bad though, guys. This one really wasn't too bad. Here's another one that could work, a 2016 Kia Forte. I have one of these. I literally have this car. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, I can't do anything with it. Now that would not be a bad car to let her borrow, but she, she couldn't have it. Had to interrupt the video there. I got a phone call from the Oklahoma Used Motor Vehicle Commission. That's always concerning, right? When they call you because you're like, oh no, am I in trouble? Did I do something wrong? No, nah, it, uh, it was just something they wanted to address. A picture that I posted several years ago I, I don't know how they even found it but they said that they're scammers doing something with your dealer's license and then collecting money from people and screwing them out of their money so he asked me if i could delete that picture of my dealer's license so we don't have to worry about that so obviously happy to oblige i didn't i don't even remember posting it of course dead another one okay this is this is not working this just is not working out for me guys now the Kia Forte that I have would be perfect. The only problem is, is it belongs to my dealership and I can't just throw a dealer tag on it and give it to her and let her go cruising around. That's illegal, you can't do that. And she's in another state. So that's another problem in and of itself. The, the main issue is, for me anyway, she needs to have this put in her name. I don't want it in my name. I don't want it in my dealership's name. She needs to have her own insurance and everything as well because if she does go bumping into things, I don't want to be the one having to pay for it. So <laughs> since I don't have a title for the 2016 Kia Forte that I currently have, I can't do anything with it. I can't let her use it. I can't, you know, it just, it is what it is. She needs something small that's going to be easy to navigate that, you know, turns on a dime and has very good brakes. And hell, maybe this would be it. This isn't too bad. It's got relatively low miles. I believe these have CVT transmissions as well which I don't care for, but let's see if we have any power. We do, finally. And it fired right up. It fired right up. Obviously, I want her to have air conditioning. That's important. I heard the compressor kick in. 78,000 miles isn't bad. I don't believe this is a timing belt motor. I'm pretty sure it's timing chain. I obviously want the important window to work as well, and good tires is a must. You know, you're not gonna put your kid in something dangerous. Uh, and it's got an extra key, it looks like, too. Or something. The fob? No key, just a little little fob sitting down there. This could do nicely. No check engine lights on. Backwards. Forwards. Seems to run out great. Air conditioning is already nice and cold. Tires look brand new. Everything is pretty clean up under the hood here, guys. I think this is one we're going to take for a ride. We finally found one, guys. I didn't think it was even going to happen in this video. Oh, there's the floor mats back there. This would be a great car for a beginner. This is, this is what I'm looking for right here. I don't know how much these things go for, but it can't be that much. Let's take it on the road. Let me get buckled up and let's take our first a test drive. Well, let's do this. 
sharp turn to the left, no clicks. This is not bad. It actually rides pretty good. I know it's hard to tell, but there's a lot of bumps. This, this is not bad at all. I'm gonna turn this air conditioner down so you guys can hear a little bit better. Oh, there's a Range Rover. I think I've looked at that about 50, 11 times. Let's make sure we're not gonna run into anybody here. We're good. Let's get out here and roll this thing to the test track. This might be the one, guys. Steering wheel is straight. I'm liking this little car. Well, we just got to the test track and she's making a little noise. Only at an idle. Let's be careful to get through here. Now, you guys said that you love the test drives. I want to point something out. You can absolutely stomp the cars and get going through here. They allow you to do that. They do not allow you to burn the tires or drift or any of that stuff. You ain't supposed to be doing nothing stupid out here, but you want to know what you're getting before you buy it. And you can absolutely hit the throttle and 60 miles an hour is their maximum speed. So let's do it. There's 55. All right. I mean, it, it did its thing. It went. It, it didn't get up to 60. <laughs> she didn't. I probably, I could have pushed it to 60 if, if I really continued, you know, like going with it. But, uh, I, I, that's fine. 50, 55, that's good enough. That CBT feels weird. Maybe, is it a CBT? Somebody's gonna have to comment below and tell me if a 2016 uh, Nissan Leaf or Nissan Versa, sorry, Nissan Versa is a CVT. I almost thought I felt the transmission shift. Here's what I'm gonna do one more time. I wanna take it back just once more. I'm genuinely interested in this one. It's the only reason that, uh, that I'm coming back for a second round. I think this could be perfect for my daughter. Comment below if you agree. See, that was weird. Nah, that's CVT. What I notice is, is what you would typically call your very first shift, which CVTs don't shift, but your first shift is very sluggish. Um, got a backup camera which is really nice i think this could be a great car for her i really really do one more time i want you to watch the rpms seems sluggish i don't know maybe that's just maybe that's just the way it is you know well, that guy flew right out. Didn't even look to see if there was traffic or anything, did he? I'm telling you, you gotta, you gotta be careful. You gotta watch where you're going out here. Ah, oh, good lord, <laughs> it's nerve wracking sometimes. All right, guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this thing back where it came from. I'm gonna go ahead and take a picture of, oh, the item number there. I'm interested in it. I'm a little leery of that transmission. I, I, I just don't know if that's normal or not. So do me a favor. If you've had one of these or you, you've driven one of these, please drop a comment below and tell me if this is normal, the way this thing is shifting. If it is, I'll probably take a chance and throw a bit on it. If we get it, I'll, I'll hand it out to, uh, I'll hand it to my daughter. Cause I think something like this is exactly what she needs. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I think we're going to get out of here. I want to thank each and every one of you for taking time to watch my videos and definitely tell me what you think of the little Nissan Versa. I'm, I'm really close to, I want to pull the trigger on it. I do. I, I think that's a great car for her. And I want to know what you guys think down below. Stay safe out there, everybody. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.